kick his shoulder and then I pull his cut. You see? I'm kicking his shoulders. And from now, what I'm going to do is reverse kick this kick. I step the floor, I scoop my hips. See? This. I automatically put my knee behind his shoulder. Like this. And I want to make sure that I push his sleeve like this. Then all I'll do is pass my right leg in first place. I grab his elbow, I release the collar clip, then I step the pitch. I kick his shoulder. As soon as I kick his shoulder, I scoop my hips. Next thing what I'm going to do is pass my leg in front of his face. But I'm not going to go like this. You see? I lose the pressure to control him. I keep my behind his shoulder. I even keep on holding his collar to break his partial down as well. Then I pass my leg in front of his face. So after I pass my leg in front of his face, I switch my right hand. That comes on his elbow joint. Then I release my left hand. I put my left elbow on the mat. Then I sit up. After I sit up, I switch my legs. I circle my legs. Right cup comes behind his triceps. This is how I pinch. I want to reinforce the position with my other leg, as if I pinch my knees together. I want to trap his hips with my armpit. Now it's very important to keep his shoulder on the same level. So I want to pin his shoulder with my right leg. And then all I'll do is sit up to the other side. I have to keep on controlling his posture. See, I use my right knee to pin his shoulder on the floor. The next thing difficult to posture up. I don't even cross my legs like this, otherwise I cannot put pressure on his shoulder. Right? As if I pinch my knees together. I don't even control his upper body at the moment, you see? There is no control on his hips. Right? So I use my armpit on his hips like this. Right? That's gonna be pretty difficult for him to roll forward. Then he cannot even posture up. So by the time you finish, you want to sit up without losing the pressure on your shoulder. So as if you keep your knees on the same spot, same level, then you sit up to the side. Look how I keep my knees at the same level. Then I finish. Right? Before I sit up, in order for him to escape, he wants to roll forward. And then he cross my knees. So what I'm going to do is this. I grab his elbow. So when the time is dead come, as he rolls forward, See, I just want to chase him. As if I put my knees on the mat. Here. You see, I can chase him. I want to get side control, right? I switch my hand. I drive my right elbow to the floor. That is right under his armpit. And then I stabilize the reverse. When he rolls forward, right? I want to chase him. Right? I still hold his elbow like this, right? As long as I hold his elbow, he cannot escape. I want to reset up on the planet, right? So I keep on holding his elbow with my right hand, and then I'm going to roll with my right shoulder, right? By the time I roll on my shoulder, he comes to me, right? Then after I sit up, I set up on the planet. Thank you.